guys, it's Jessie here. I'm back with another video, and today's video is going to be my new releases for the week. As you can probably tell by me having the August um, monthly spread from the Erin Condren open, I've got August items for you guys today. I'm very, very excited that we are moving into August soon because I absolutely love this color scheme. I know this is not everyone's cup of tea, but I love the yellow and the green together. I think it's so gorgeous. Now, I also know that a lot of you may have purchased the new Erin Condren, either the new Colorful or the new Vertical, and so these August stickers may not um, match for you guys. I'm still using my old Erin Condren up through the end of the year and I know a lot of other people are as well. So I wanted to continue to make the colorways for this planner available till the end of the year. Now next year I may come out with something totally different to match um, the colorful planner. Uh, I think that's the one I will probably end up getting. I haven't decided yet. I still have plenty of time to think about it, but um, I know that a lot of shops have stopped offering these um, s colorful stickers now because this isn't the latest and greatest newest planner anymore, but I still wanted to make sure that I personally had stickers that would match throughout the rest of this year, um, and I know that a lot of other people are going to continue to use their current planner till the end of the year, so I just wanted to make sure that these colors were still available for you guys. So if you showed up here hoping for stickers to match the new Erin Condren's, I apologize. I don't have stickers for those yet, but they are forthcoming at some point. Um, you know, that that's just what I've decided personally for my shop. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the stickers. So first thing I have here are the To Do and Today headers. Um, I offered To Do and Today headers combined last month, and people seem to really enjoy that. Um, because when I was offering just a sheet of all to-do headers, it was like way too many headers. I was never using them all, so I decided to offer to-do and today on the same sheet, and I'm loving that. So there's that. Next up, I have the sidebar headers. They um, are great for using either within your weekly spread um, or within the sidebar. Um, let me show you a week in August, I guess. Oh, I, you know what? I have stickers laid down in every single week of August, I think. Yeah, I do. That's all right. But yeah, they work really great along the sidebar or within your weekly spread. Um, so this comes with a couple of to buys, to clean, remember, this week, next week, to go work, school, goals, notes, dinners, exercise, personal, and little things. So I think you got a little bit of everything on here. Um, so there's that. I wanted to offer the weekend banners again because I absolutely love these. So this time I did like a curved weekend banner. I'm very excited about these and the glitter from my nail polish is getting everywhere. That's okay. So yeah, weekend banners. You have your appointment labels. These are just blank labels that you can use in conjunction with my um, icons or you can stick a little time stamp or whatever in here to mark when you have an appointment. Um, here are my icons. Again, all of these are exactly the same as they are every month, just in the different color path. So the green and the yellow, so bright and lovely for summer, I think. You have your Bill Do stickers. I did the font in white again because I really, really like the way that that looks. You have your weekly habit trackers, payday and day off flags in the yellow and the green. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have your half box checklists with the to do, to go, to buy, and to clean here. Um, these really come in handy, I think. Half boxes, these are the squared off half boxes. I've been doing these and absolutely loving the way that these look. You don't have to worry about putting washi tape behind the rounded corners or anything anymore, so love that. These are my icon labels. These are just like the generic ones that you can use for just about anything. Well, with the exception of the money and the TV, I guess those are kind of specific, but the rest of these are very um, generic. You can stick them down to mark just about anything. You got exclamation points, hearts, asterisks, and then like I said, you also have the little dollar signs and the TVs. 
and then I have more specific icon labels. These ones are more household items, so we have little grocery carts, a little spray bottle, a laundry basket, a garbage can, and a little house. These are great for just marking your household chores or whatever. Um, you can use these like people use um, little things, you know, you can stack them all up or you can just use one for a special event, um, however you want to do that. And then lastly, in that little icon label category, I have the health and wellness ones. You get some little weights here to mark um, going to the gym. You get a couple of little footprints, which are awesome for step tracking. Um, I know a lot of people have Fitbits and count how many steps they get in a day. You get little scales to mark weigh-in days or whatever. Hearts, again, I like to have something that's a little bit generic. That way you can use it for whatever you want. And then you have the little meal planning icon labels. We have the ombre heart checklists in the yellow and the green. And for those of you that like a more white space look, we have the checklist flags. You get um, six heart checklists that are the full length of the Erin Condren boxes, and you get um, three heart checklists that are half that size, so that's a great little variety there. You have your weekly hydrate stickers, which I think are so beautiful. We have your um, decorative full boxes. You can make a whole week's uh, kind of kit out of all of these a la carte items. Um, we have your days of the week ombre lists as well. So that is everything for the August releases. Um, if you love all of these August items and you want to get your hands on all of them, I am also offering, just like last month, a whole bundle of stickers that you can get every single one of my August theme stickers um, at a bit of a discount. So if you bought each of these sheets individually, it would be more expensive, but if you buy the bundle, you get a little bit of a discount, and um, people seem to enjoy that last month. So that is all of my August items, but that's not all I've got for you today because I do have a new kit release for the week. So. Just like I have been doing, I'm offering this kit in mini kit version and full kit version. People seem to really like that. And it is a lemonade theme this week. Um, I think that this clip art that I found is absolutely beautiful, so I wanted to do a lemonade kit, and I thought, what better time to release a lemonade kit than in conjunction with the August items because look at how perfectly these match. You could totally pull in any of these August items to coordinate with these kits. So I'm very, very excited about doing that. So first I will show you the full kit. It is a four page kit and in the four page kit you get your bottom washi, you get some deco um, all in the lemonade theme including a little weekend banner, which I wanted to get creative with this weekend banner, so I put the little lemons behind it. I thought that was super cute. So that's the first page. You have your functional page with the eight half boxes. These are the squared off corners. You get six appointment labels, two little weekly habit trackers, and four build do stickers. I did the build do on this one in black because I just liked how bold that looked. You get your full boxes, which I think are so beautiful. I love I love that it has the pink in it, so it's sort of like a pink lemonade scheme, if you will. And lastly is the checklist flags. You get eight checklist flags, um, seven of each of the headers in to do today, reminder, and then the sidebar headers to buy, to clean, to go this week, next week, work, and school. And then you get 15 icons. So that is the full kit. It is enough stickers to do a full-on spread in your Erin Condren Life Planner. You guys, you can also use these kits in the Happy Planner, um, but they are sized for the Erin Condren. I want to make that clear, so if you use them in the Happy Planner, the boxes are going to come up a little bit short. I haven't been doing as many Happy Planner kits because I was finding that I just was not selling them. Um, in the same numbers that I was selling the Erin Condren kits. You guys can make Erin Condren kits work in your Happy Planner. I've actually got a video coming on this um, as sort of like a demonstration on how I do it, but um, yeah, I just want to make sure that you guys know these are definitely sized for the Erin Condren. So if it bothers you that they don't line up perfectly with the Happy Planner, I apologize. There's plenty of Happy Planner kits available out there. I do have some in my shop, but this particular kit is not sized for the Happy Planner. 
Okay, and lastly, I have the mini kit. You guys know how much I have been absolutely loving doing my mini kits because they are great for a sort of minimalistic planner in a full size like Erin Condren planner or Happy Planner um, because they don't take up quite as much space. Um, there's not as much or there's much more white space with these mini kits in the Erin Condren planner, um, but these are also really, really great for um, the a personal size planner as well. So I'm very, very excited about using this. I personally am probably going to use this this week in my um, Recollections personal planner. One thing I want to note about this mini kit that is different from the previous mini kits I've gone back to the rounded corner half boxes in this kit, and the only reason for that is I designed this kit quite a while ago um, before I made the changes to the half boxes. So if you guys don't like that, I apologize, but I just apparently never went back and changed it, so we're just going to stick with that. So that is it for my releases this week, you guys. I am so, so, so excited to be planning with these items. I think that these yellow and green stickers are just gorgeous. Um, I think combining the kits with the August items is going to be totally up my alley. I think that they're going to make some super cute spreads. So I hope that you guys will head on over to my shop and check out all these items. Get your hands on the August items um, if, you know, they suit your fancy. I personally love them. One thing I want to mention that I don't think I've mentioned yet is that I recently upgraded my paper. So um, all of these particular items that I have here are still printed on my old paper. Um, these like for display purposes uh, because it was just the last of the, that ream of paper that I had. But you will no longer receive stickers with this digital orange sticker paper. I've upgraded it a little bit and it is just a nicer paper. It looks like this on the back. Um, it still has the little labels label on it, but it's not quite as obnoxious as that digital orange, I don't think. And the great thing about this paper is, for one, it is split down the middle, so you don't have um, <clears throat> this on the back where everything is slit diagonally, so you don't have that interruption of the pattern sometimes. It's not noticeable once you stick the sticker down in your planner, but on the sheet, I think it looks a little bit like janky to be able to see these lines here. Um, so I wanted to get rid of that, so I did switch to a different paper, but also the new paper is just nicer. The backing on the paper is quite a bit thinner, so everything peels up really nice off of the backing. Um, and the paper itself, like the, the part that is the sticker, is just a hair thicker. Um, and But not thicker in a bad way. It's not like thick where it's going to bulk up your planner a ton, but it's thicker and it makes it a little bit easier to peel up the stickers. They don't curl up quite as much when you peel them off the backing and um, you don't see as much through them. So when you stick down a sticker over top of a header um, with my old sticker paper, you could see very obviously a lot of times the header underneath. These are a little bit thicker, so they're not quite as... Um, you know, they're a little bit more opaque is what I'm trying to say. So also with this new sticker paper, the adhesive on it is not quite as strong as the adhesive on the digital orange paper. So if you've used my stickers before, you know with the digital orange paper, um, it is not repositionable, removable at all. Like you stick your sticker down and it's not coming back up without ripping. This new paper, while still not being repositionable, um, is just a tad less sticky so if you stick down a sticker now um, and you decide you want to move it if you peel it up right away it comes up a lot easier still not repositionable guys you're not going to be able to pick it up and move it around 500 different times but it's just a tad more forgiving than the old paper so i'm really excited about the upgraded paper all of my stickers from now on will be on this paper um so while I have all of my personal stickers here on the digital orange paper, everything that you guys get from now on will be on this paper. And um, if you've ordered 
from my shop recently, you may have already started receiving orders with this paper. So I'm very, very excited about all of the new changes that are happening in my shop. Um, trying to upgrade things a little tiny bit without um, raising my prices. Clearly, I could move to a glossy paper or a really nice repositionable paper, but if I did that, my prices would have to go way up. And I try really hard to keep my items affordable um, while offering a huge variety of things. So I hope that you guys are liking where my shop has been going lately. I hope you love all of these releases. I'm psyched about August. Um, you guys will be seeing these stickers in upcoming Plan With Me videos very, very, very soon. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and then head on over to my shop. Check out all of my new things. They're all listed in the new releases section of my shop right now to make it easy for you to find them. And you can use the coupon code new releases, all one word as always to get 10% off of your order. So thank you guys so much for watching this sort of long winded uh, new releases video. There was a lot of stuff to get through. Um, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about all of these items and if you're going to be shopping my shop this weekend um, and until next time bye